Hi guys, how are you? Today is day 8 in our Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge course which I'm doing with you on YouTube. Uh, I'm just gonna make this lesson short because it's really late. It's 1 a.m. and I'm sleepy. Na'asene. And Na'asene means I'm sleepy. So I'm gonna share with you two expressions that I randomly use today. They're unrelated but I use them so I thought I can share them with you. Before, before I begin also, I wanted to let you know that I run 30 day challenge courses on Zoom. The next 30 day challenge begins November 15 and finishes December 14 so that's exactly 30 days we study together every single day for one hour and a half and there are levels all the way from absolute beginners to advanced and also if you need flexibility I am now doing pre-recorded 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses for self-study so that way you get the benefits of doing the 30-day challenge you have lifetime access to them and at the same time you can do them at your own pace so, yalla, let's begin. The first expression today is By the way, I will write the two sentences under this video. So while you're watching me, you can scroll down and check out the words that I'm uh, pronouncing. So the expression is It's written But we pronounce it Why? Because the word Which means world starts with the letter dal the letter dal we call it a sun letter and all the sun letters or all the words that start with the letter dal whenever i add the definite article l to them at the beginning of the word which is usually pronounced alif lam l whenever the word starts with a sun letter i don't pronounce the lam of the l I just say iddinye instead of ildinye. I do write both the alif and the lam ildinye, but we pronounce it iddinye. Iddinye mish se'atne. Now, the word se'atne, let's break it down. Let's remove the ne. The word se'a, we call it a participle. It's a feminine word that has a te marbuta which we don't pronounce. Se'a. In the masculine, it's se'a. Se'a means something that contains. It means it contains. It's not a verb, but it's playing the role of a verb. Uh, almost like literally the word means a container. Not I don't mean the container in terms of like a container. No, but something that contains. Se'a. But now when I add the ne in the end, I have to pronounce the te marbuta and I have to say se'itne instead of se'a. Se'itne. So in that case, it means it is containing me or it's con it contains me. So when I say mish se'itne, it doesn't contain me. I cannot fit into it because, for example, maybe I'm too big. And that thing is too small, so I don't fit in it. So it doesn't contain me. So when I say, As if I'm saying, the world does not contain me or is not containing me. It's an expression we use to say that we are so, 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 so happy. Like genuinely, deeply happy. So happy to the point that you can imagine as if when you're happy, your heart is growing so much that... There's no space enough in the world for your heart to fit inside. Imagine it like that. So that's why we use the expression I'm so happy that the world cannot contain me, literally. Okay? Memorize it. You can say it when you're super, super, super happy and something nice happened with you. Now, again, read the expression. The second one is totally unrelated and it means Shahad Wimsharat. Shahad Wimsharat. Shahad means a beggar. Shahad. Wu means and. Msharat, it's another participle and it means the one who puts conditions. Shahad Wimsharat. A beggar and the person who puts conditions. It translates as the beggar who puts conditions. Shahad wimsharat. So I'm not saying wu pausing and then msharat. Imagine there is an imaginary kasra under the wow. Wim, wim. Pronounce it like that. Wimsharat. Shahad wimsharat. A beggar who puts conditions. In the feminine form, it's shahadi. Obviously, you have to add the te marbuta. Shahadi 
ومشارطه اي ادت بالتي مربوطه او صوت مشارطه شحاده ومشارطه when do we use this expression when somebody does something nice to us okay and we wanted it we asked for something and then they do something nice for us and then we're complaining oh it's not nice or it's not enough or something the perfect scenario i was saying today to my friend like oh i need sweaters you know i don't have enough sweaters and stuff like that uh, and he said uh, there is a sweater you want it i can give it to you i'm like mm, it's not nice you know i was nagging that i need a sweater and then he's giving me one and i'm saying no i don't want it because it's not nice so as a joke it's the perfect scenario to say shahade wa msharta yani you need it you're begging and you and then you're complaining that it's not enough it's like for example you imagine you're a real beggar and then somebody gives you five dollars and you look at them you say to them five dollars only i don't want it take it back i want hundred dollars you know you put your conditions even when you're a beggar so that's when we use the expression shahad wimsharat or shahade wimsharta so today's two expressions are hiddinya mish sayitna it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl you use it in the same way hiddinya mish sayitna or shahad wimsharat you say it to a guy or shahade wimsharta you say it to a girl that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and this was short so you have time to recap on everything we studied in the past um seven days because some of you are saying there's so much so many material and you need time to memorize them so today you have two sentences only which means you can memorize everything we studied before yeah that's it and before i go i want to remind you i also run 30 day challenge courses with my students on zoom the next one is november 15 and finishes december 14 and if you need more flexibility you can do the 30 day challenge courses on your own because i have them now as pre-recorded courses if you're interested, get in touch. I'm also leaving my email address under this video. Good night. Bye.